Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it's one of those teeth-chatteringly cold and snowy December afternoons here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Brandon Gunn. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me in cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. Set for football now from snowy Massachusetts. And we are underway in Foxborough. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. I love the versatility of Marcus Cannon. He can play guard, he can play tackle. I think his footwork has really improved during his time in the NFL. He has one of the better backstories that you're going to get. This is a guy who was diagnosed with cancer, has beaten that, and now is one of the better players in the NFL. Looking to throw on second down. Brady. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. And that takes us from second to third down. And a look now at the defensive starters for San Francisco. Tukorsky Tark came out of Samford University in Alabama. And he is a guy who is an absolute flash at the safety position. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Shotgun now for Brady. He's airing it out for Sanu. And that is incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Go, 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 go. 
The Patriots send out their punter. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And following that punt, which turned out as well as it possibly could have, this offense has 99 yards to go to the other end zone. And the defense is frothing at the mouth with a chance to get points themselves. If they tackle a runner in the end zone, safety. And if there's a holding call in the end zone, that's also a safety as well. So either way you decide to go on offense, you've got to be careful. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But both teams practice this situation, and this time the guys on offense won and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave them some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage or do you play normal defense? They may have backed them off with that run. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. 18 yards, first down Niners. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. On second down, it's Coleman. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots' D on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Got him in, he finds Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 23 yards on the play. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish them off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Now Garoppolo, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses, because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways, because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so go. good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. A gain of six there on first. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now... Everyone gets locked in. Your confidence go, go. jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That catch good for 5. It's third down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Well, it's all about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. After the sack here, second and 11. On second down, they'll run with White. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And he gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Play action. Now it's Brady. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game.
So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Brady to throw again. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Throwing is Brady on third down, and that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the pants three. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Goskowski's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting on field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Black 80! Let's go, D-Tight He's checking, he's checking. 
Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Sanders and they move this all the way down to the nine a busy first quarter his third catch of the afternoon is a first down as the field starts to get condensed the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover but a well-run corner route there First and goal. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, they look a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Kyle Van Noy gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And Gold is able to put it through. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. I can't believe they even let you play. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Wait, that round 80, round 80. Hey, hey, here, here I come, here I come, here I come. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. But you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard line. Not too bad. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super toe. At the 20 yard line. Here we go. The first down go. run got five. Here's second and five. I'm, I'm coming after you. <laughs> They'll toss it to Coleman. <laughs> 31 yards there and a first down. Kick play off. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Here we go. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10 to throw. It's Garoppolo. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Dante Hightower just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Here we go, now here we go. following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Coleman now. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Stephon Gilmore dials the corner blitz and earns the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michel. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, with a conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady gives to Michelle. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Brady's throw there complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Michelle. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 29. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing now is Brady. And he's got some and they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Wait, that's Alabama. 380. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there, now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in, and now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go, or savor it a little bit, but I run right back at them. 
Now a carry for White. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Taking it in from a yard out. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. That time a nine-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Jimmy Garoppolo and his offense heading back on the field. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do, they've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off, because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen it. A double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in this snow, ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions. The Philip Dorsett by himself. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Philip Dorsett, 79 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. The point after try for Goskowski. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone.
Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. First play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Give them four on the carry there, but that only takes them back to where they started. Third and 10. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Niners on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Lawrence Guy coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. That throw good for four. It's second down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Go, Bandit! Now Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Ah, oh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski different was an things for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a three-syllable word. Too many syllables, yeah. you, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And that'll make it 17-13.
offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now a pass here caught by Edelman, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Give them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brady gives this to White, and that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Operating from the gun, Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Niners on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Garoppolo now. It's caught by Sanders. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. 
So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both review. feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, here we go, here we go, here we go. creases Please. tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down now. It's Coleman pushing forward for three up to the 48. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Sanders has got it complete and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they built that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here we go, so here we go. into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Pass the 20. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards that time. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. Garoppolo in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Here's Coleman on the toss. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the eleven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. This is Moster. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three yard gain brings up a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Time while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this. And across the chalk into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. From eight yards out, and the 49ers have retaken the lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Go. 
gold to add the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away this is taken about seven yards deep and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time we have seen a lot of points here in this quarter for us up here in the booth it's been fun to watch the defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads yeah they're going a little bit crazy right now but let's face it all of our friends who play fantasy <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points and down he goes the 49ers get there Eric Armstead the defensive end will get credited for the sack Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Brady going to throw. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they're set up in a golden position here right around the 10-yard line. Partner, I don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady. You think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved, you think it's snowing, and immediately you hear the words, tuck rule. And now the tuck rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does, even here, even now. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's the where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Garoppolo's pass. Here we go. So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the board. And he hauls it in, in the end zone, touchdown San Francisco. Debo Samuel there to make the grab. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football, next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs. If you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman, and his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. Yeah, he's looked pretty good. He does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you're talking about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. It's caught by Coleman. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Here we go, here we go. Garoppolo now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime from the right hash. This from 45 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now a deep ball here hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they want to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him, get our offense jump started, and in this case, it's worked throughout the game. Thus, they have the lead. Here we go. So hey. into patch territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. On play action, now Garoppolo under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Kyle Van Noy picks up his second sack of the afternoon. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Protection go, go. certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. shot for Samuel and that is gonna be pulled in one-handed wow and he's gonna take it in touchdown San Francisco Debo Samuel his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Niners are able to stretch their lead still plenty of time left in the game but now starting to pull away a little bit get some breathing room with that one and i don't want people to think that nfl locker rooms are cookie cutter that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation 
But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, the you know, second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Brady. And a dump off to White. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Brady. He sets to fire deep. And unable to connect, incomplete. Well, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Patriots send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here's Emmanuel Sanders now as he and the rest of the offense march back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. It's the pro bowler Jamie Collins that makes the stop. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The beauty of being able to play his own defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And all. 36-yard line. A big play there for the Niners. And even 40 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them.
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That's caught. It's Coleman. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Garoppolo. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him. Maybe. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pick up, first down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive go, line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. This is Coleman. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Touchdown pass number four of the afternoon for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And he's such a talented tight end, just creates nightmarish type matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with faint praise, aren't we? Because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover him? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You go cover him. Gold with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for 28 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. You remember me? From the 40 now on second down. Brady looking for Edelman and he hits him. It's complete. Give him 15 yards on that one and New England has a first down. Straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Ben Watson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now Michelle. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. From the gun, it's Brady. And able to find Dorsey. Now the ball comes loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. You know who's winning this game right now? Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the here time go, the fourth go. quarter Wait. comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the road, true. to be fairly that, clear, that is time we have to leave the booth. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's Coleman. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. Garoppolo on the screen. This is Coleman. 
And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense, and it worked very well there for a first down. Here we go, here we go. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Coleman. The safety, Patrick Chung, is the one who makes the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go, here we the go, last go. run got three. Ready? Now here's second and seven. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We begin the They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. Again, it's Michelle. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Let's go. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Now Brady. It's complete, James White. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. 53! On first down, Brady. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. 
The completion good for three, and it's second down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Wait, that? Ready? Mark 56. And I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Let's go on. No, first down, here's White. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Hey, hey. Brady now to throw. This is White on the screen. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And finally out of bounds inside the five at the four. A huge play there on the screen pass. 43 yards. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Goskowski, the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Dante Hightower on the stop. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Check the backer, check the backer. 
They will run again with Coleman. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On third down, here's Coleman. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Now they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. They'll give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Brady. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. down complete to Watson the tight end and he'll be brought down oh that's a face mask Personal certainly foul. looked like it indeed face here mask. come the flags Defense. so they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end just trying to do your job right trying to get him on the ground Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Brady going to throw. And this one brought in by Sanu. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Set. 
Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Now Brady again. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that one, his first incompletion in his last six passes. And it's third down. The linebacker, Fred Warner, right there on the coverage. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They're running it. It's Michelle. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Remember, that was fourth at a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? Just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Come on, dude! Throwing now is Brady. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. New England on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and six. To throw, it's Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The yeah, field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Here we go with Michelle, and he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Here we go, here Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The veteran Jason McCourty up to make the tackle. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps and have the offense hit him with a big play. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here we go. 
On third down, Coleman. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. A gain of two, just like we saw in first and second down as well. Deuce is wild. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no game. Here comes the 49ers punter now, standing just about on his own goal line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Patriots take over. Julian Edelman and the rest of the offense back onto the field now. All right, so let's look at these numbers. I don't want to read the tea leaves here too much, but maybe he's in his own head a little bit after that hot start and the cool off. Sometimes that happens, and this is where you get tested as a player in this league if you truly want to be an impact player or a star, because that's what they're going to face each and every game. Extra coverage, extra people. <laughs> so now, do you fight through it? Do you find other ways? Or do you allow it to affect you to the point where you're no longer an impact on the game? In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. From the gun on third down, Brady, and it'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and ten, here's Brady. That's caught by his tight end, Matt Lacoste. And he's got this down to the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. And he's gonna have to ice up his arm afterwards, too. Brady to his tight end, Lacoste. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually gonna win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? To throw again on second down. Brady caught by Sanu. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Third and 
Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Again, it's Brady. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now Brady. This is caught. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Okay, it's time for me to break out my thesaurus for that one. And I don't have anything. That was amazing. One-handed in this weather. I mean, you know the ball's got to be slick. But to be able to catch it and come down with it, what do they call that, the process of the catch? He completed it all the way through. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try and run it with White. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal now as they try to punch in a late touchdown. To throw is Brady. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. 50, Maybe 50, one final 50, chance 50. here to make this a bit more respectable as he'll go for it on fourth and goal. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Benjamin Watson, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots get a score closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't yeah. feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Goskowski with the extra point, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. 
And I do believe we saw Slip just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all go, three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. going to throw it. Looking left sideline incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. This to make it a three-score game late. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Tom Brady in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A little over a minute and a half remaining. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Now Brady. Looking sideline incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down in bounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Hey man, hey man, watch the boot, watch the boot. Get him! Throwing again, Brady. And oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. How did he do that? I get, how did he do it? I mean, in this type of weather, it's not just catching it, is seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why I ended up having to go one-handed, but boy, what a catch. That was a spectacular one-handed grab. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Brady. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. On first down, Brady. He's got White here. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Let's go. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, and that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. It's got third down and nine yards to go. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Brady to throw again. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.